hello there and welcome back to my channel today we are going to try some of tabitha brown's products i was lucky to be able to find almost all of them so we are going to do a taste test of ravioli the burgers and the soup so let's get into it so i'm about to whip everything up and then we'll come back and see how it tastes okay first things up our soup so let's get into it now, i ain't even gonna hold you this bisque is is looking baby food ish it looks a little bit like baby food butternut squash bisque um it's actually rather bland it's very thick it really needs some seasoning but it's really giving like baby food like it's not bad but it's not like delicious where I'd be like, oh, I'd buy this again. Not really my thing. Now let's try this chili. The chili is very beany. It's a lot of beans in here. Let's see what other beans are in here. So it's a chickpea chili, and then it also has pinto beans, light red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans, and then chickpeas. That's, that's a lot of beans. I don't really like beans like that, but okay. It smells like chili. It's a lot of beans in here. Okay. One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm. There's a lot of beans. I will say this. It tastes like chili. It does. It definitely tastes like chili. I just don't really like beans all like that. And there's a lot of beans in here. Like, it's a lot of beans. But if you like beans, this might be a thing. It does have a good flavor. Just too many beans for me. Would I get it again? No, because I don't like beans like that. But it tastes good. It tastes better than the bisque. It tastes better than the bisque, but it's still too many beans. So I'll pass. But it was all right. Okay, I had to come get comfortable for this one. So we have our ravioli. No, this might not be the best angle, but y'all gonna have to work with me on it. So first up, we're gonna try the sweet pea and basil. Now I like peas. Basil can sometimes be a little overpowering, but you know, I wanted to try them all. Give them a fair chance. I don't really like that. It says it has a cashew cream in it too. It's It's okay. I like peas actually, but I don't know. It's just okay. It's it's not my favorite. I don't I don't think I would buy that again. Let's move on to the next one. Next we have the vegan sweet potato and cauliflower. Such an interesting combination. Oh yeah, we got a dog. You wanna say hi Dennis? He's just back here. He's just back here. He's just messing. Say hi. Oh, he said, never mind. Okay. So, sweet potato, cauliflower. I don't know about these pairings. It's a little different. Let's see. It doesn't wow me. The flavors are. It's like the combinations are, it's like they was trying to go for something a little different. I can respect that. However, I don't, I don't know if these was the right flavors to go for. Is it, it's not bad, but it's just okay. Like I, it's not wowing me to the point where I'd be like, oh, I got to try this again. I'm definitely buying that again. I can't say that. I don't think I said that about anything that I bought so far or taste it. But we're going to keep going because it's, it's got to be something. There's something. Next, we're going to try the pizza ravioli. I'm kind of excited about this one. I feel like this one might be pretty tasty. Tomatoes, like a cashew cream, seasoning, spices. Yeah, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So let's give this one a whirl. Mm, that one is good. It doesn't give pizza to me. It tastes like sun-dried tomatoes, but I like it. 
I do like that one. Of the three that I tried so far, I like this one the best. And lastly, we are going to try the polenta and wild mushroom. I know they was trying to be a little different. I don't know about polenta and ravioli. I just, and it might be freaking spectacular and delicious, but that just don't sound like a filling that will go in a ravioli. Wild mushrooms, yes, absolutely. What kind of mushrooms, let's see. Portobello mushrooms, and then the tomatoes. Cause it's got a cream in it. It doesn't say anything about a cashew cream. I don't see that back here. Seasonings, etc., etc., etc. It's not very wild, but let's taste it and see. Hmm. It's okay. I think what I taste the most is the pasta itself, the filling. It's not super overpowering, but it's just okay. I, that's all I can say about them right now is they just okay. I'm kind of disappointed. I think a classic type of ravioli would have been nice, like something with some spinach or something like that. Maybe some mushrooms, but I just feel like the sweet potato and the cauliflower and the sweet pea and the basil, something a little more classic would have been nice. I get where they were going but to me it's just kind of flat like it's not wowing me it's just meh i could leave it take it or leave it i could leave it pizza ravioli is the only one that i would kind of buy again but i'm not wowed it's not exciting to me i want to be wowed maybe the burgers are gonna wow me let's let's try those now first up i'm gonna try the mango basil sausage as you can see it very simple oh that wasn't supposed to happen but all I did was just saute it up in a pan. It does have a casing around it. The inside was a little loose, so I feel like if you tried to pull the casing off, it might kind of fall apart. But I'm gonna just eat this little piece with my hands and let's see what it tastes like. I smell the basil. The basil smell is really strong. Let's see. Hmm. I really enjoy that. This is really good. Mm. And I'm not really a sausage person, but this is really tasty. I like that. This is very flavorful. I really enjoy this. She has a recipe in this book. You could have picked up one of these in Target. It was over by her products. I know I saw a recipe in here with this. This is what it looked like. So colorful. A mango basil cilantro saute. And that looks really good. This is good. So far, this is the thing that I like the most and which is shocking to me because I don't really like sausage. Mm-hmm. I like this. Okay, slider time. As you can see, I didn't do too much. It's just a little bit of lettuce, mayo, um, ketchup, and a little bit of onion. I'm real plain when it comes to my burgers. First, we have the garlic one. It's a hint of garlic. It's, it's real light on the garlic smell. So it just smells okay. Cooking wise, they cooked okay. They didn't have a lot of juice that came out of them. So I'm wondering if they're gonna be a little bit dry, but let's see. Mm. A lot of garlic flavor here, a lot. The consistency is good. When I was making them into um, slider patties, they were real like spongy like so they kind of held their shape pretty good um then they held their shape up really good when they were cooking this is good i like those so far i think the star of the show are the meat burger number two is the mushroom and wine interesting combination i don't know how these two are going to go together in a burger but let's see it doesn't really smell like much mm. I also want to note that I didn't put any seasoning on these because I wanted to taste their actual true flavor before I doctored them up. The garlic one, to me, is fine as is. This mushroom one, it's not really a whole lot of flavor to it. This one would need to be doctored up. It's the most basic one so far that I tried. The garlic one has a lot of flavor in it. This one, not so much. 
it's okay so far the garlic one is really tasty but now let's try the barbecue one this one smelled the best out the package it smelled good it smelled like barbecue it smelled smoky when i was cooking it i could smell it the most on the pan so i'm excited to try this one because my nose be knowing what's up mm-hmm you know what this will taste really good on the grill summertime it already got the barbecue smoky flavor and then you put it on the grill yeah this is a, this is a winner right here i actually think that all of these the sausage included would be really good on the grill i am very pleased with the meats the meats are excellent we're ranking the burgers garlic barbecue and then the mushroom would I buy the mushroom again? Probably. If they didn't have any of the other ones, yes. But I would throw it on the grill and with some seasonings. By itself, it's just whatever. The other two by themselves taste really good. But if some seasonings don't kick these boys up a notch. If you haven't got a chance to, go check out her collection at Target. It's more than just food. A little bit of everything. It was a real thought out, very colorful, very aesthetically pleasing collection. I'm very proud of her. I'm happy to see a black woman in a Target. So it was very exciting. I was very excited to support. Even though I didn't like some of the items or nothing, the items that I didn't really care for, it was just whatever, I'm still happy that I purchased and I'm still happy that I support because that's what it's about at the end of the day. So until next time, guys, later.